The football center mid. A strange position that few people would dare to play. A position at which, if you are not technically proficient, you have little chance of creating scoring opportunities for your team. At least, that's what it meant a few years ago. The position has evolved significantly, with players capable of doing everything on the field, including attacking, defending, and passing. Don't get me wrong, box-to-box -box midfielders like Jude Bellingham, Declan Rice, and even Dominique Sobaslai have those talents, but they lack the touch of Xavi, Pirlo, or even a recent player like Kevin De Bruyne. Midfielders were formerly considered the maestros of the pitch, manipulating strings and arranging the beautiful game like a musical symphony. What about now? It's as if they've become forgotten, lost in the midst of tactical differences. So. What does this all mean for our favorite central midfielders? Are they becoming the dinosaurs of football, unable to adapt to this rapidly evolving landscape? Let's go into the whys and hows, and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to restore the glory days of the midfielder. Let's get started. Let's talk about tactics. This is the first thing that comes into my mind when I think about underutilized midfielders. Football has evolved into this chess game where managers strategize like military generals. High pressing, inverted wingers, false nines, it's enough to confuse you. And in this tactical arms race, the role of the traditional center midfielder is being questioned. Teams prefer faster transitions, relying upon short, direct plays over the gradual buildup synchronized by center mids. It's like football has traded it's fine wine, energy drinks, quick and efficient, but missing the classic touch that those players brought to the game. And who's left adjusting their thumbs? Yes, players such as Odegaard, Kevin De Bruyne, Pedri, and Gavi are influenced by this. Although they could play anywhere on the pitch, we know they like none of the other defensive or attacking minded positions. Players like them are becoming less and less visible on the greatest stages of football, which is unfortunate as the game expands to that sort of style year after year. In order to change this, we need to come up with more effective ways in which they can be utilized in the best way possible. We need managers to take on these players and turn them into the next Luka Modric, Xavi, and Iniesta of this generation. Players with such amazing talent are being left out of clubs and academies due to the fact that the demand of these players are almost inexistent. This makes players not want to play in this style due to the fact that they might not even get selected. Hence, the amount of these players in today's game. Can we just go back in time please? Who doesn't love these types of players? You can't really tell me that you disliked witnessing Zidane, Johan Cruyff, or even Ronaldinho. And if you do, that means that you don't like the same football that I do. And to all of this comes with my next point. A goal here, a bicycle goal there, and a screamer from over there. That seems to be the slogan these days. Everyone wants a player who can bang goals in the back of the net. And who is getting all the attention? The forwards, the attacking midfielders, and the deadly strikers. It's as if the central midfielders are the forgotten heroes constantly doing the dirty work, but rarely receiving praise. I would even argue that defenders are more well known than midfielders right now. I mean, think about it. When when was the last time you heard someone say, Oh, did you see that amazing interception by this player right there? Not really, man. It's always like, Did you see that amazing goal by that amazing striker? Being a lesser known hero in a world that only glorifies the goal scorers is a sad reality. When was the last time a midfielder won the Ballon d'Or? Apart from Modric in 2018, which we all know is always given to the best player of the opposing team that loses the World Cup. Just look at the 2014 World Cup as an example. The last time we saw a midfielder lifting this coveted trophy was Zinedine Zidane in 1998, which is over 26 years ago. If you ask me, this is crazy. To combat this issue, I think you might have to start making a trophy for every single position that's on the pitch. Goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, and attacker. This would make things way more evenly. I mean, that's just my take on it. But attackers have and will keep getting the acclaim, which is unfair to the other players who work tirelessly to be the driving force behind their team.